Yeah, the cabin's just up uh, this way. Not that it's gonna wow your socks off or anything, but I like to explain to people that I inherited it. Yeah, just, just so you don't think. It's not like this is my beach house or anything. My parents had me and my brother old and both died in our 20s. Hey, it's pretty cool to get a free cabin. Well, free in a sense. I didn't have to pay for it, certainly, but I paid for it, you know? The cabin and the money left me and my parents' will means that I have to work, but it's not, like, a huge deal, basically. I, uh, <laughs> I used to worry this made me a boring person. I wouldn't tell dates or people I just met. I'm compelled to remind you that this place was an inheritance. I'm not a secret billionaire. Just look at my shoes. Exactly what a secret billionaire would want me to think. <laughs> Trust me, if I was a billionaire, I'd wake up every morning, grab a bullhorn, and shout, I am a billionaire! I'm on to you, Batman. People who can't pay violation of noise fines. All the stuff that we need is inside. Should just take a minute, I know exactly where it is. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Problem? Kind of, yes. The door is locked, which it should be. The keys, however, are not where they should be. They're, oh, I can picture it, they're in the kitchen drawer. I was moving things around this morning, and I forgot to put them back in my pants. Really? Come on, dude, that's the first pocket you check when taking a walk. Yes, thank you, got it. I watched a video on how to pick locks. I think I remember the host's hair color. Yeah, I'll tool around with it for a bit, and if push comes, I'll just unscrew the damn thing. Hey, can we just get in from here? Absolutely. If my truck was here with the garage door opener. Sorry. Did that? No. Okay. All right. Stupid pain in the ass bastard door thing. Rats. Maybe? No. Swell. Damn it. Doesn't look like he cleans the gutters much. Eh, maybe he plans to. surprised you need to get up there hmm hmm nope this should reach the window Yo, is a strand type game? We got the ladders. This is going to take a while. Encyclopedia Brown, a biography of Guglielmo Marconi. I don't know who that is. And an eighth grade science textbook. Jacob, you are a man of interesting tastes. Oh. Odd hobby, Jacob. Oh, his brother. Didn't think they'd be twins. Hey, 
Thanks. Yeah, how'd you get in? The explanation isn't fun, so just imagine I did something really impressive. I'll assume I probably just left something unlocked. Uh, the journal should be just over here. I know there was one where she talked about gates. Windows to perpendicular spaces. I know it's in here. Just, uh, hey, hang on. You got a phone call as I was heading down here. I didn't answer. Huh, kinda late to get a call, but okay. Oh, it's been at least an allergy season since I cleared out my answering machine. So that one's lost to the ages. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, this is it. W one of the journals that belonged to Maggie Adler. She was stationed at Fort Milner, right here on the coast, when the submarine crashed. She said it was a mistake, that the whole thing had an experimental engine or something. And that when it blew up, something happened to the reactor. It split the crewmen from our reality, forced them in between time, in between dimensional planes. They were gone. Seriously? Come on. Why didn't anyone find out about it? How could they keep it a secret? I believe three people can keep a secret if exposure would cost them their lives. Maggie did all these experiments and, and, and research in the last half of her life. She discovered radio waves can reach through planes of existence. It can, it can affect the past and, and the future. But, you know, without hard proof, without the knowledge of the inciting incident, no one really except me believed her. I mean, n not that I, you know, blame them. Okay. Okay, I think I buy this as much as any other plausible enough sounding explanation. Just look, this one, she told me about ghosts, about people she cared about, a woman named Anna that died to one of those things. She called them gates. And I think that big triangle thing in the sky is one of them. I could barely understand what she was talking about. Okay, okay, uh, so how do we close it or stop it or whatever? She, she talked about it somewhere in one of these notebooks. Miss Adler said she spoke through a, a portal or a gateway or whatever to a Sergeant Griffin years after he died. He was on the USS Canaloa, stuck in time. These were my versions of, you know, uh, of campfire stories, I guess. Well, I uh, have to say, Jacob, this is really testing my don't hate the messenger. Uh, Maxim. Yeah, I'm sorry, all right? I wish I had better, less frightening news. There's a... I, I know she had some way to... Just one second. What we need is this guy. Uh, yeah, here it is. She writes... Huh. Huh. Jacob, not in your head. Oh, yeah, sorry. She's... Uh, she, she says that harmonizing electromagnetic waves emitted towards a gate could successfully diffuse its source signal. See? See, so that's this, this is what I thought when the transmitter went crazy. Th that first one was diffusing the signal and starting to cancel out th the gate. So transmitters can diffuse the source signal. So we use the transmitters then, right? Enough of them should knock out its power. Yeah, I think. I mean, we saw what the one did. Which is definitely what we want to do, because you know, Ma Maggie says, she wrote here, that, that gates or portals, whatever you want to call them, can, in theory, destabilize the properties of our current existence. Which doesn't sound good. Man. So, uh, what will happen, exactly, if the portal or whatever stays open? It sounds like it'll really screw up our timeline. Maybe destroy it the general store is holding our transmitters right and climbing gear because if that's the case we should be all set that's what evelyn said yeah they have my stuff so i know the owner and i know where the key is so that's no problem after that we'll have to put another three transmitters to triangulate the right harmonic frequency the math dictates they have to be roughly equidistant and at the same height so for us, that means a clear view of Edwards Island to compete with the signal traffic and get through to the other side of the harbor. After that, it should work. And then the big portal and all the scary stuff that poured out of it will go away? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's what I think Maggie Adler's trying to tell us. Okay, 
Uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Let's get back to the general store, get those transmitters and gear. I just hope we're right. Uh, Riley! Riley, are you there? Pick up right now! Over! Oh, it's Evelyn. We should loop her in. Riley! Jake? Hey, Evelyn, do you, uh, see or, like, know how insane this is getting? Over. Riley! Riley, thank God! Okay, you're okay. Everything's okay. Okay, that's good. The readings we're getting on our end here look really bad. We just know, based on these figures, there's something electromagnetic that's building in intensity. Evelyn, hey, it's Jacob. Yeah, we know it's bad and, and getting worse, but we figured out that if we use the transmitters to nullify the bad frequencies, it can diffuse them completely. You figured it out? Figured it out how? Over! We figured it out with the power of science and uh, Jacob's knowledge of all this stuff. Yeah, just, just don't worry. We know what to do. The transmitters will act as a net. It would be like the old radio towers. The geography's bend is like a natural amplifier. All we'd have to do is just place them high above sea level, and it'll knock out the signal that's screwing everything up. Hmm. Uh, actually, this, that might work. Ugh, and the stuff you need is just sitting at the general store right now. Ugh. That's not a big deal. That's Fred Hollinger's place. He's a buddy of mine. He keeps a spare key to the front door behind the back doormat. Hey, and I was gonna suggest just throwing a brick through the window. Thank God for small towns. Alright, I got a lot of stuff to get ready over here. Good luck, guys. Godspeed. Over and out. Oh, and Jacob, sorry, I forgot. Did you ever find Athena? Oh, uh, uh, no, not, uh, not yet. You know, I, I'm sure she'll turn up soon. Country dogs can handle anything, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, th th thanks for checking. Over and out. <coughs> sorry, I, uh, m my dog, Athena, got out last night. She goes on walks by herself all the time, but this is the first time she hasn't come back right away. Something spooked her, but I, I, I don't know. Ah, oh, poor baby. If she goes on walks by herself all the time, I'm sure she'll turn up. She probably got some doggy action and doesn't want to come home yet. <laughs> Maybe. I'm Yo, man. Run across her. You get off your ass and you find that fucking dog. Also, my man Jacob, what is this shit right here? You looking kind of untrustworthy, my guy. Come back for whatever that is later. are a little slippery. <laughs> Yo, slippery rocks suck. Dangerous shit. Oh, oh, sorry, wait, we have to. <laughs> ah, Jessica. Whenever you cross a bridge, you have to spit over the side. It's good luck.
Okay, made it. Just this way to the general store. Cross your fingers he never moved the key. Just uh, follow me. It's right here. Okay, key should be right under the mat. Real high-tech security, you know? No, we're not 13 years old. Buy your candy like a goddamn grown up. Yeah, I'm all Yo, that's nice. I don't need to grow an eyeball on my foot. Do we leave like a note or something? And what would this note say? Universe possibly collapsing, technically rob you, hugs and kisses, shakes and eyes. There's the gear. Let's go. Mind if I take a look at the gear? A few more transmitters, and that looks like a climbing rope, clasps, everything we'll need. Which, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to that part. Try not to think about it, though. Ugh. We'll be fine, Jacob. With the rope, it's pretty easy, honestly. Easy for some people. Now we're set. Anyways, let's just, let's just focus on fixing it. We got our gear, we got our map. We're not restricted to the beaten path, so to speak. We should start walking to as above sea level as we can get. Take a look at your map and let's pick where we want to go. Right. Have an idea of where we're going? Uh, yeah, I think so. Doesn't seem too difficult. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. heard that name before? Massel? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, Olivia Massel is the teenage daughter of, uh, well, the easiest way to say it is their cult. The Massels. A well-known group of nutter-butter lunatics. Extremely wealthy, very insular, very private. And her mom and dad actually died in a prop plane crash almost four years ago, but she lives with her aunt and uncle now. That weird thing on the trail path? That's some parentage, they call themselves. And there are stories about people disappearing yeah i saw their flyer at the store you think this is a cult thing seriously hey i'm just saying what i know and what i've heard and you can take it or leave it i just i, I think it's her not gonna be able to spit over this bridge then hey eh? so much for my luck
Riley, you there? Over. Hey, Evelyn, what's going on? Over. I just wanted to see how you were doing and how it's looking out there. Over. Evelyn, uh, how do I put this? This stuff, the, the portal above Edwards Island, is really affecting just everything. It's hard to stay in one time and, and place here. Over. I know this sounds insane, but... No, I, I don't think you're insane, Riley. Our weather station and relay measurements are... Well, the numbers are... Otherworldly. Way off track from where they should be. Yeah, yeah, Jim, I know. Sorry, a co-worker's letting me know he couldn't get his car started. It's okay. Riley, I want to stick to the plan. Still plant those transmitters, but can you do me a favor? Could you give me a call whenever you plant a transmitter? It would help me help you with what's going on. Yeah, Evelyn, that, that's fine. Over. Great, great. It's important you call me before you head out to your next objective when you plant them, okay? It'll help a ton. Okay, okay, I'll let you go. Remember, I'm on seven. Good luck out there. Over and out. What is this? Oh, no way. I buried this. When I was a kid, Maggie had me bury letters for her. Weird, I know, but she paid five bucks each. I promised I'd never read any of them. Never did. Never will. Keep your eyes open. I guarantee there are more of these out there. My mother was an undertaker. It's <laughs> one way to start a letter, Maggie. When they hired me for this, they said I was going to have to work with somebody. And I said, you know, that's fine. What, uh, what can you tell me about them? And they said, all we can tell you is that she used to live here, and then she moved away. And now she's moved back. Yeah, and, and I remember thinking, that's funny. I never heard of anyone ever coming back. Um, tell you the truth, Jacob, in my case, this was the only job I could get. I had burned a few too many bridges, and, uh... Not a lot of employers will take bartender references on an application. So, I needed to come back, really. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, got it. Hey, you know your dad rewired my folks' garage when I was a kid. How's the, how's he doing? Still an electrician? Yeah, he's not doing too well, to be honest. You know, he had me kind of late, so he's getting up there now. That was part of why I came back, honestly, to be a little closer to him. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, give him my best when you see him. Look, you, you, you came back because you needed this job, and I know that it's going terribly wrong so far. But it's only the first day. Who knows what tomorrow will be like? Can only go up from here, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> hopefully. I was meaning to ask, when you were, uh, you know, in my house, in my bedroom is this, uh, thing I've been working on for, like, for, like, years. Clay sculpture? I can't remember if I covered it up or not, but, um, assuming I didn't, and assuming you took a look, and assuming you formed an opinion upon looking, 
What might that opinion be? Lots of assumptions there, I realize. Yeah, I saw it. It was kind of hard to miss. Yeah, I have no idea how I'm ever going to get it downstairs. So, thoughts, questions, comments? Minor criticisms that'll keep me awake at 2 a.m.? Under this hat, I'm all ears. And conditioner. Was it finished? It didn't look finished. I had an art teacher once tell me, nothing is ever done, it is only ever due. So, yeah, it is unfinished. Yeah, and, and I wonder how many classic works of art are too. Maybe someday it'll leave the bedroom, have the world uncover it, you know? See if it was worth the dirty fingernails. <laughs> Maybe. Anna, who was Anna? How it lets you off the hook of responsibility in such a gentle way. You know, I, I used to think about Maggie Adler and just what she used to tell me about all this at least an hour of every day. With time, it faded, you know, like everything. But I never stopped playing around with radios, just trying to prove her right, trying to vindicate her a little. Everything that's been going on these last few months has really stirred up a lot. It'd be so absolutely crazy if this has to do with her. How'd you uh, meet her, anyway? She was an old woman who lived on an island. Oh, I used to practically live at the library, and she'd come and check out books on electromagnetism. She'd ask what I was reading. No one else would. She was, uh, she was a character. <laughs> and I was so young. I don't know. I was a kid, I'm bored, and my house sucked, so, you know, why not hang out with some weird old lady who believed in magic? Eventually, I'd stopped going to the library. I'd read all the Encyclopedia Browns anyway. And she just carried this weight on her. You could see it in her trembles. It just got to be too much eventually. Sadness was like radiation. You, you can only be around it so much. Before... Yeah. Can we visit her? Maybe she can help? She, uh, she, she died a few years back. I actually went to the funeral. Her only request was to be buried somewhere you couldn't see water. They did it on a hill, southern side of town. I think I was the only one to attend. Never wanted that to happen to me, you know? Make no lasting connections. Hmm, that was nice of you. I mean, was it? Actually, sure. Thanks. Come on. Onward. So, embarrassing confession. Before my truck broke down, I was headed to the library to return a book. I was a month late in returning. I'm talking 30 proper days, and I never even finished it. Athena and I walk there all the time. <sighs> You're a monster, Jacob Summers. I'm ashamed to know you. Terror of the fiction section, that's, uh, that's me. Yeah, but really, I could have waited another 30 because Kamina P.L. got rid of late fees last September. I mean, is it weird that I don't mind paying late fees? I get that getting rid of them promotes library usage, which is a big plus. But I mean, there has to be consequences. Life is nothing but late fees. You really want to charge a kid 50 cents because he's one day late and returning dude the cat goes to school? Do you remember how hard it was to get money as a kid?
You may as well charge them cold fusion. I do, and that's exactly why. Learn the lesson, young reader. Maybe a more considerate child also wants to know how that day at school went for dude, but now they'll never know. Anyway, now you know. Judge me. Mm, go ahead. Finish the damn thing. Come on, at this point you're, like, morally obligated. You're not the boss of me, but, it, yeah, I, I should. I will, but because Jacob decided so. Thank you and tip your waitstaff. Man, I've gladly paid many late fees at the video store. Back when the video store was a thing. done with all of this you should come back here like this area best sunset view in town five crisp dollar bills in your pocket you find a better one but uh you won't so noted and i intend to collect summers if it ain't up to snuff 500 pennies you have my word sunsets on mars are blue did you know that something about the uh dust in the atmosphere Blue Martian sunset. I did not know that. Saw it on the nature show. Good looking out, man. Technically, outer space is part of nature. That sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah. That does have a wacky flavor of ice cream flavor to it, huh? I'm kind of jealous, you know? I mean, I'm totally down with uh, earthly and sunsets. No complaints. They some of the but, best. I don't know. Makes you wonder what else is out there. And how much of it we'll never get to see. Maybe that's just me, but maybe it ain't. What color is the sunset on Uranus? The second the S in Mars slipped my lips, I freaking knew that joke or something in that joke's orbit was coming. And to that I say, bravo, maestro. Oh, thank you. Something must have gone wrong with their whatever they were doing. Okay, so take this anchor. Somebody left this behind, which is good, because rope climbing requires them. See, just slide the rope through and hook. I haven't done this since basic, but riding a bike and all that. Uh, just take it slow. <laughs> For me. Man, I was really hoping to avoid this, but, uh, 
take a walk on the wild side, Jake. Oh, God. Oh, God of God. Just try not to think about gravity. You know, that unavoidable thing that kills mountain climbers all the time. Let's hope you're next. Damn, homie. <laughs> That's fucking savage. Oh, there's a weird looking lock on the door. It might be a radio lock. One of those things that needs a calibrated radio to tune open. I use alternate frequency RF signals to control the deadbolt. If we had a radio with a broader range, we could tune in its code and unlock it. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't think we can get around. It'll be impossible to get in unless we find one of those radios. Let's just come back later. If we find a better radio along the way, great. If not, maybe we'll have come up with a workaround. Yeah, okay. Another anchor, see? 
We can climb down from here. Oh, goody. Ah, bit of a leap there. Uh, we could climb down here also. It might take a little longer. I just don't think we can make the gap. Right? No, piece of cake. <sighs> Riley! <sighs> Riley! Jesus! Are you okay? Please say something. Riley! I'm dead. Uh, or maybe I just wish I was dead. Uh, give me, give me a second. Hey, uh, careful coming down. I got it. Okay. Are you doing all right? You look okay. That's a good sign. Whoever invented gravity's an asshole. Isaac Newton really should have been a farmer. Yo, I say so that all the time. We, we want to go up there, but... About gravity the being an connected. asshole. We follow this one through. Should wind up somewhere on the other side. She I relate really to this character. Place, but she's the best we got. Uh, unless this is a bear cave. In which case, we probably won't wind up somewhere on the other side. Not unless you mean the other side in some sort of religious sense. No, I don't think there are bears out here, but of course now you've got me wondering. Anyways, come on. Just this way, I think. Funny how just a little light makes everything both less and more spooky. Weird, right? Maybe it's just me. Did it go out? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> funny. You're a funny person. Ooh, I am the ghost of uh, that book with the ghosts. Oh, my blood's curdling as we speak. Jesus, when did all this fog come in? Hey, uh, if you're on this frequency, pick up. Who's that? Riley, are you there? Yes, this is Riley speaking. Over. Man, you sound... Uh, actually, you don't sound at all how I thought you'd sound. But, uh, how's it going? Over. Yeah, I'm fine. Who's this? Over. space to figure it out for yourself. Okay. I don't want to waste your time. That's a pretty important resource. But my mom used to tell me stories. That's why I'm calling. Because one of the stories was about tonight. And the things that are going on. Anyways, I just had a hunch. I'll see you later. Hello? Anyone there? Over. Uh, hello? This is not the same person I was just speaking to. Over. You're speaking with Nick Stewart, ma'am. Were you speaking to someone else on this line? Why are you on this frequency? Over. Hello? I didn't call you, buddy. Over. No, it was you. The reception was bad, but it was you. Listen, I got you on the horn here, so can you do me a favor? You sound pretty clear, which means you're probably in Camino. Right? Probably at the dock by Charity Point? There's an outpost for local fishermen near you. Can you take a minute and check if a blue backpack is in there? It's the outpost for local fishermen. I want to make sure it's still there. Yeah, uh, sure. I'll help out. A blue backpack? Yeah, awesome. Great. That'd be a big help. Just give me a ring if you see it. Thanks. Over and out.
these uh, caves are um, connected, I think, to Garland. We'll have to go there later, so you'll see how widespread it is. If you uh, know the tunnels well enough, you can walk to and from practically any point in town completely underground. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You see that? Hello? Jacob, shh. Stay still. Well, uh, that was weird. I don't think we're alone. Could have been a trick of the eye. You, uh, never know. Oh, hey, check it out. We could probably climb down this. Wow, your night vision is way better than mine. Didn't even see this. Lead the way. Definitely not jumping that one. Jesus, someone should put a you know, cones here or something, right? Maybe there's another way around. We need to get to the other side. Yeah, let's look around. Find a detour. Jump scare. Hey, sorry. I guess another way out over there, but well done. Plus alarm. It's the wind tunnel. Good Let's pacing. See, Did not see that coming. Oh wait. Wow. This is. I've never been in here. Watch your step. I don't think this was meant for tourists. It's uh, sort of pretty, in a way. No, it's amazing another life I would have been a geologist or took at least an intro to geology course you know not gonna get us where we need to go nope it's kind of sad seeing this thing so broken at least there's no skeletal remains I guess doesn't mean it was empty when it crashed just saying true No way. Yeah, that is a bird. Feathers, beak. It works. We should let it out. This, it, it shouldn't be in there. Yeah, I totally agree. But the cage is locked, though. Maybe there's a key? Kind of sad. Hey, look, Jacob, it's an anchor. Yeah, which means it's another rope climb adventure. You first. Is that? God, I don't know. Hey, wait, you're just gonna. We haven't seen if we can maybe just walk out. Look, we don't know what this thing will do. Right? This seems crazy. Let's just see what this does. It I might help. Slightly to strongly disagree, but. Uh, okay. Intact, skin attached, I'll take it. I think we're back when the mine was somewhat operational. I don't think anyone's around. Which means we time travel. We have traveled through time. Uh, on any other day, I'd be screaming, but instead... Let's uh, see if the time tear opened anything up. Hmm. 
Okay, I'm uh, starting to get. Sorry, it's it's not claustrophobia, but uh, we're just like on the precipice of madness here, you know. Yeah, man, I get it. As a kid, when I was anxious, my brother and I would play a game that kind of helped me out. It was called One Word Story. Basically, two people tell a single story, one word at a time, bouncing back and forth. Should help chill us out. Chill me out, at least. How about that? Uh, sure. Sounds good. Let's do it. Cool. Great. I'll start us off. Once. Now you go. Once. Satan. Oh, okay. Uh, eight. Fourteen. Ooh, good one. Uh, children. I, I don't know why I said children, but let's just go with it. Loudly. Brilliant. Great. The end. Okay, so let's review. Once Satan ate 14 children loudly. The end. Not a... not bad. First time's always hard. Ah, oh, pure poetry. We should, uh, write a novel when we get back to normalcy. It'll be a quick read. That was actually really helpful. Like, really. Hmm. Word is all ebbed. Maybe we can meet our bird's grandpa. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it's dead. I, uh, wouldn't look in there. Uh, okay, that's worrying. Come on. Oh, looks like it's working? Uh, wonder if this... Hey, it worked! Easy peasy. Uh... Okay, but there isn't... How are we both supposed to go up at the same time? There's no buttons inside. So, how is this going to help? Uh, what if you go up, and since you're the less, uh, at... Man, I can't believe this thing is working. This whole night is just melting my brain. Yeah, working so far. Okay, it's uh, a little rickety, but uh, actually, yeah, shoot, how are you going to get up? I thought I'd see another way once I was here, but this is a conundrum. Wait, so you're telling me that there's uh -oh. no... That, that doesn't seem good. I'm up, fast. I think this place is having a minor meltdown. God damn it, the mine is collapsing. I don't have much time. You set the lift in a way that you can use it as a bridge, maybe. Yo, it's like a popular children's game, Fortnite. Right, just jump to me now. You're so close. <sighs> we made it. We're back in, uh, you know, now. Whew, man. Yeah, thank the Lord or Lords above.